Hello and welcome back. Today's video is all about treble bleed capacitors. This, this is, is everything, everything guitar. guitar. And specifically today I'm going to be looking at a Gretsch Country Club guitar, which is the Chet Atkins model and applying a treble bleed capacitor to the master volume circuit. Now when you're adding treble bleed capacitors to volume pots, what you're trying to allow for is that when you turn the volume down on the pot to attenuate perhaps between a lead sound and a rhythm sound or you just want to play with the volume pot. In the instance where you don't really want the sound to change too dramatically, then this is when you introduce a treble bleed capacitor. What happens otherwise is that when you turn the volume down on a volume pot is that sometimes you get what's known as capacitance and this is because the cable run inside say a Gretsch guitar especially those with the master volume circuit is a lot longer because of the, there's passive pickups and there's a lot of tone suck so that's what a lot of people say that there's tone suck now, in the instance that you want a bright tone as you turn the volume down, the only way of doing it, you can either go to an active type setup in your guitar, which means you'll need to install a battery and a special active system, or in the case of passive electronics, you add a capacitor. So today I'm going to be exploring a single capacitor and then adding a resistor to the capacitor as well. And I'm going to be using three different resistors and just basically showing how you can get shades of color by adding resistor combinations with your capacitor. And of course, you can change the capacitor values. First of all, I'll show you the sound of the guitar with no modification. And then I'll show you the sound of the guitar with just a treble bleed capacitor. And then you'll hear the treble bleed and resistor capacitors. The resistor values will be 100 kilo ohms, 150 kilo ohms and 220 kilo ohms. What I've done in the demonstration is basically to start the volume at 10 and to start attenuating the volume downwards and I'm going to be kind of guessing because where I've got the master volume pot is actually in the back of the guitar so I can't really attenuate it the way I would do normally when it's fitted. The reason I've done that is because I'm using crocodile clips on the capacitors and resistor combinations so in other words the installation of the treble bleed circuit is temporary at a later date I will solder or as the Americans call it solder the circuit into the guitar permanently but this is an easy way of swapping out different combinations and you can see from the pictures where I'm using crocodile clips with a crimpable end that you can easily insert a capacitor or resistor into that. So here are the demonstrations. Thank you. 
I've also recorded some examples where I have started with the treble bleed capacitor installed and then I've pulled the crocodile clips out so you can hear the contrast between that and where you don't have the treble bleed. And for that purpose I've just pulled the volume back a little bit, say roughly, I've guessed it to be roughly what you'd think of as an 8, so going from an 8 volume and then with the treble bleed and without. That way, hopefully, you'll hear a kind of pronounced difference. The reason I've done this is because my preferred attenuation when I play that guitar is just to knock the volume back a little bit and that takes me away from kind of lead guitar sound or just where I want to have a little less volume. But I don't want the tone to change quite so much. So I've done that with all four capacitor and resistor combinations. <laughs> Now my conclusion is that I think I prefer the capacitor and resistor combinations rather than just the capacitor on its own. I find the capacitor on its own gets a bit weird, especially when you get down to the lower volumes to about below 5, 4, 3, it starts to get very trebly and very weird.
I find the resistor tames that lower end quite significantly. But please feel free to tell me which one you preferred. Having the clip-on system is very easy, so I can at least try them out on Telecasters and Stratocasters and Les Pauls and things like that. You never know what might be next. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.